Good evening and welcome to Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Today we have Varsity Lacrosse. And uh, they're taking on the Vikings from Hazlitt, coming all the way down from Hazlitt to take on your hometown Dragons. And this is the first game of the season, the spring season, the 22 season for ONTV. And we're here at Dragon Stadium to bring you Varsity Lacrosse. The uh, high school lacrosse team has had a lot of success over the last couple of years. I shouldn't say couple last five or six years uh, racking up a ton of wins and a ton of goals uh, over that span and we're excited to see what 2022 brings us this season as we're underway the uh, dragons are in the white Hazlitt is in the yellow and we're underway here after the faceoff. shot on goal early and uh, should be dragon ball Cold and windy evening here at Dragon Stadium. We dodged the rain. It was coming down sideways and just above, well, just under 40 degrees out here. It was about 38. So it is a chilly one here at Dragon Stadium in the early stages of this contest. Haynes has that one, rolls it out front. Oh, just missed that pass and will go out of play. Should be uh, has lit ball. Again, on TV's coverage of Dragon Sports, uh, the spring sports is uh, always a lot of fun. We're going to bring you a whole slate of soccer matches and uh, men's and women's lacrosse, as well as a track meet or two. But a full schedule is on hand for this 2022 spring season. Guys battling for it out there, trying to gain possession. Dragons come up with it, and they're on the move. Trying to get a pass out, just not working. A lot of hollering going on out there. I think it'll be Hazlitt Ball. And here we go. 10.47 left to go in the first. No scores so far. Uh, Hazlitt, if you don't know, is up around the East Lansing area. Meridian Township, old stomping grounds around Michigan State University. And Hazlitt out on the move, and they set up in their offensive zone. No rosters for Hazlitt today. That happens sometimes when we get teams from uh, far away coming in to take on your dragon, so we'll do the best we can <laughs> to give you uh, the information. Substitution in coming in for Hazlitt, number zero, as they set up this offense. Going right up the middle, shot. And blocked nicely. By number 33, the netminder, Noah Perillo. Perillo between the pipes here for Lake Orion. Again, it's a chilly and windy one out here. Ooh, near collision at midfield. And unforced error by the Dragons. Gives the ball back to Hazlitt. Vikings have a uh, strong program. Been around a while. Number 10 with the ball there for Hazlitt. Oh, excuse me, number zero. Light crowd on hand here at Dragon Stadium. Looks like it's all family. <laughs> uh, new setup here too. It looks like uh, usually the both teams are on the near side of the field here and we can see that they're now on the far side of the field that is um, I haven't noticed that uh, them doing that setup uh, last year and pass behind the net trying to cycle it around just trying to get something going on good defense here by the green and white early on in this contest nice inside move shot tough angle out of play and what are you going to say and give that one to Hazlitt so they'll still be on the attack As you notice, uh, as the ball goes out of play, the players extend their uh, their sticks out in front of them, and the one closest to the ball gets possession. So even though the ball goes out of play, you're still trying to get closest to the ball before it is out of play. And you can get possession, and it's quick score. 
Nicely done by number 13. Tough angle and under duress. How does that find its way through? And it finds the upper right 90. Hazlitt on the board first. 1-0 at 832. Eight thirty two the first. Number thirty there for Hazlitt. The Vikings get on the board. Let's see if the Dragons can answer. Dragons try to dig it out and Hazlitt comes up with it. Nice scoop by seventeen. Back check, whack a mole there. Doesn't dislodge the ball and Hazlitt's on the move. He loses control and the Dragons are moving. Was that number 12? Owen Boyd, the defenseman on the move. Dragons come in. Oh, nice score. Nice answer. That is Andrew Parker. Goes down, lower 90, lower left. Tough shot there by number one, Parker. And that is at 8.07 of the first. Goals. Dragons needed to answer one. there. Andrew one thing Parker. about lacrosse is there's a Assist. lot of scoring. It can happen very quickly. Gannon. Parker, uh, Andrew Parker, number one, the attacker for the green and white. Tallies the first goal this season for your hometown Dragons. Hazlitt again on the attack. That's faceoffs one. Hazlitt is winning the face-off battle. And what you're going to find in, in this, this match here is if you can win a face-off and you have a quick attacking offense, you can really tack on the points quickly. Another thought about it. Cycles it back out and sets up that offense again. 13 with the ball. Good defensive posture there by the green and white. Dislodges the ball. It is number 25. Good D. That is the Johnny for the green and white. Here comes Hazlitt. Number zero again. Being a pest out there. Cycling the ball around. 13 inside, outside. Moo shoots. And nice save. Perillo is on top of that one. Ball's out of place. It looks like Hazlitt still in possession here. Inside seven minutes left in this first period. 1-1 one, one is your score. Hazlitt so far showing a good discipline on their passes. Whistle blows. What are they going to say? Stalling? Dragons with the ball. Who is that? Number 20 is Reese Meach, the defenseman. Bringing that one out. Still has it. Sidesteps the defender. Meach on the roll. Still going. Finally gives it up. Oh, and misplayed by Parker. Scooped up by 22 behind the net. That is Gannon. Offense gets set here for the green and white. Gannon with the ball, already has one tally on the night. 8.07 of the first to get the Dragons on the board. Brings it up front to number four. That is uh, Papadelis. Rolling inside. Long shot outside and save. Save made by Hazlitt. Nicely done. That, that ball was flying hard. Cross Papadelis on that shot there. Can't get it in. 11 with the ball for Hazlitt. Now they're on the move. We've seen in the past the offensive, the fast uh, offensive striking capabilities of the Dragons over the years. Um, fast break points, if you will, has been their uh, kind of their MO, but they also like to set up. Um, Set up their offense and they can cycle it around with nice tight passing, very disciplined. Hazlitt out front again, trying to get a grab it. Ball is on the turf and rolling. Scooped up by the green and white. 
On the move again is Parker. Parker with it, shoots, nice save again. That's at least three saves by the Hazlitt netminder. Nietzsche on the scoop, he's cruising. The defenseman taking it end to end here, see what he can do, dislodged by the Viking defense. Still in play, can't keep it. At that faint red line is the out of bounds marker. We're end to end action here at Dragon Stadium. Hazlitt again cycling around. Some line changes for the Vikings. Looking for instruction from the, uh, the coach for the Vikings there. And then two more players here cycling in and out. That's what we, we you see, it's kind of a cross between uh, hockey and basketball in a way, or soccer. It's all combined together. You have line changes on the fly, which is interesting. Change up personnel quickly here in this game. Hazel again out front on that left side coming in. Oh, nice change of direction and speed and just misses. My goodness. So far, the action of this uh, contest has been uh, pretty wild. It's been good. Doesn't look like it's the, the first home game of the season for the Dragons or, or for Owen TV for that matter. <laughs> Cycling it around again. Hasley going low and scores. Number six gets, goes low at 3.43. Willikin, number 16, gets the tally there at 3.43 of the first. Two to one. Two to one, Hazlitt leads here in the first. Again, Hazlitt with the faceoff win. And mark another one. Four faceoffs, one to just one for Lake Orion. Dragons trying to scoop that up. Just can't find the handle. Hazlitt grabs it and they're on the move. Hazlitt has shown some speed and they're pretty, uh, pretty agile in the close quarters in there. Sets up again, cycling it behind. Defense is by number 27. That's Trevor Witt. Hazlitt comes out front again to reset that offense. Just inside, three minutes left in this first period. Good defensive pressure there by the Dragons. Trying to push him off the ball, a lot of space to move. Ball's out of play, Hazlitt is near. They should retain possession. Well, want thank you for tuning in to this uh, telecast of Dragon Sports here on Orion Neighborhood Television. Full slate of games uh, this spring coming your way here on ONTV. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Back again for more lacrosse action here at Dragon High School. Low again, same spot, my word. Same play. Two tap. Second of the game, scored by number 16, Tyler Middleton. Middleton. Tyler Middleton, number six, going off the PA announcer's call here of who's what. Middleton. Middleton looks like their primary score, and we're watching that the, the Dragon Netminder is having a hard time with those low shots. So we saw them going high initially for that uh, first tally of the game. Dragons win a faceoff. Oh, big cross check there. Physical, physical. Wow. Dragons with the ball here, number 40 with it, that it's uh, Brandon Brown. Gets in the offensive zone and starts setting up. Brown has it, number 40, near side on the left. Tight defense by the Vikings. Cuts inside, does Brown. Looking for that middle pass, tough. Nice defense by the Dragons to dislodge it. Cuts inside again. That's number two. That is Baker. Excuse me. No nope, number two for Dragons listed. That was a crazy sequence. Maybe that was 20. Why not? 
Reese Meach. Foul called on the uh, on the Dragons. Change of possession here with 154 to go left in the first. Has led up three nothing. Or excuse me, three to one. Two goals by Middleton, and the Vikings are up early here. In this out of conference uh, contest here at Dragon Stadium, Hazlitt uh, decides to call a timeout. Be back after the short timeout. You're watching Dragon Sports on Owen TV. Stay tuned. And we're back after the timeout. Hazlitt leading your hometown Dragons 3 to 1 with 135 left in the first period. What trends have we seen so far? The faceoffs won by Hazlitt is 4 to 2. And um, they've been the aggressor so far. Uh, their passing has been a little bit more crisp than the Dragons. Um, and what we've seen from Middleton, number 16, who has two tallies on the night leading score in this contest so far is aiming low, trying to keep uh, the Dragon goalkeeper um, having to go low for those saves. That's Perillo trying to go low. So, so far they found out going low for 33 is a toughie. Um, but these aren't gimmies, these goals. Uh, there is traffic in front of that net. And those are just nice shots by number 16, Middleton. Middleton again with the ball near, uh, near side. Cuts to the middle. Long shot. Score. My word. Middleton having a quarter. Cuts inside. Just rolls right around the defense. Meach gets caught up on the turf and 16 finds it. That's 103 of the first period. Three goals for Middleton. Dragons need to find an answer to uh, number 16. This time he didn't go low. He went high and he was upper left 90. Change on the fly there as uh, we're inside one minute left in this first quarter. Hazlitt again with the ball. We'll call that a faceoff one. Dragon defense needs to shore up here. ID the shooter. 43 seconds to go. Time's ticking. No hurry by Hazlitt. They have a nice lead here in the first. Go, 21 with the ball. Guarded by the Dragons. 32 takes a whack at it. And just out of play. 32. That's A.J. Lates, defenseman for the Dragons, who had a, uh, had a whack at it. Dragons retain possess or get possession back of the ball. See what they can do with it. He's having a hard time uh, finding that ball in the field. Dragon's still on the move. That is Meech. Defenseman comes up with the ball. This is a back to, re, uh, to set that offense. 21 with the ball for the Dragons. That's Haynes. Haynes cuts inside. A lot of traffic. She tries to shoot and another save. Yeah, that short side was guarded nicely by the Hazlitt netminder, and that shuts down the first period of play. Hazlitt up 4-1 on your Dragons. Dragons Middleton doing a number. We're back after this short timeout with a second quarter after this. You're watching ON TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Stay tuned. All right, about to get underway here in the second quarter of play. Dragons offense needs to find something here in the second quarter. Looks like they're content to try to go one and one on the defense, uh, but the netminder for the Hazlitt Vikings is really shutting the door on this Dragon offense. Uh, doing a nice job of guarding that uh, short side post. And the Dragons are aiming low, and he's finding it. He's eyeballing that uh, the shots, and he's making the save. So good play by the uh, Hazlitt uh, goalkeeper tonight. Again, Hazlitt on the attack. 
Should have been keeping track of the offensive possessions. Hazlitt seems to have had this uh, control of the offense the majority of this game so far. Number 16, Middleton with three tallies on the night. Again, I don't I don't have a roster sheet here, so I'm doing the best I can <laughs> to ID these players inside point blank range. Saved. Uh, ref is going to come out and give a flag on the play. I think that might be against the uh, green and white. So penalty on the play. Penalty. One minute for slashing. One minute for slashing. So a power play opportunity here for Hazlitt to add to their three goal lead here in the second quarter. Hazlitt just cycling it around. Dragons get into that, uh, try to defend that power play. Hazlitt just keeps cycling it around. No hurry, just looking for that right opening. Dragons do a nice job of closing out on that defense. Hazlitt trying to sneak it in there again. That's Middleton. You know that he's got a solid shot so far with three goals on the night. There's 14. Oh, nice deflection out. Good defensive stand by Noah Perillo. Hazlitt has it. Again, power play here on the penalty on for slashing for Lake Orion. An advantage for the Vikings, and they throw it away. Looks like it should be saved by number 32. Again, cycling it around. No hurry here. Sun pokes through. Ooh, just a skip shot. Just missed on the far side post. Approaching 10 minutes left here in the second quarter. Dragons should get possession of this ball. They do. Sun poking through the clouds. Good to see. Earlier it was rainy and sideways rain and blustery wind. And Dragons are on the road uh, for a track meet up at Oxford. So uh, this game started around 7 p.m. So that uh, track meet should be wrapping up pretty soon. But boy... I bet you they got drenched out there in Oxford. We're lucky that uh, that system kind of rolled out of here. We got a little sun poking through the clouds, and the Dragons are on the offensive attack here. 21 with the ball. That's Sam Haynes. Dragons trying to set up this offense. Setting in some replacement players. A little line change there. Haynes with the ball. goes Decides to go one-on-one. -on -one, cuts it inside. Just missed. He's going for that upper right 90. Tough shot. And going away, he's leaning left and trying to shoot right. That's a tough shot. And they're going to say out of play. Dragons were there, so they should retain possession. 30-second uh, penalty offsides, I believe, on Hazlitt. Dragons have it. Thought continues to roll here in the second. Has led up three goals to or four goals to one. Haynes gets it again out front. Four, nicely done. Cross uh, Pepadelis uh, on that uh, launch, but he didn't get it on frame. Coming near side, Pepadelis. Haynes. Skip pass across, trying to change their patterns. Nicely done. Can they get it in? They score! Nicely done by Parker. You see that nice shot by Parker. It's the Dragons. Uh, two the goals on the goal night at eight. By number one, Andrew Parker. Assist to number 18, 48. Kyla Carson. Dragons needed that goal as the uh, Hazlitt has settled in on defense. Uh, goals are hard to come by here for the green and white. What are they going to say here? Dragons again having a hard time on the faceoff. 
but I believe they do have it. It's good to see. Oh, changes hands. Hazlitt has it. Number four right there in the middle of your, in your screen there has uh, possession of the ball. Clock has uh, stopped rolling at 8.47. Set it up. Hazlitt, sun in their eyes. Sun really popping out of the clouds now. Hazlitt really spreading out that offensive zone for themselves, getting them room to roam. Looks like using their speed to try to cut into those lanes. Meach on the defensive stand there to force the pass. Nicely done. CJ Witt nicely done there on the shoulder check there. Number 38. Hazlitt resets that offense, comes out front once again. Cuts inside. Good defense by the green and white here. Ball is on the turf. Hazlitt scoops it back up and they're on the move. Trevor Witt, 27 there on the pursuit, trying to get back into the uh, defensive positioning. Again, Hazlitt very patient with their offensive sets. Whistles are blowing. What do we have here? Interference. All right, reset it here. Hazlitt still has possession. Let's go. Again, using their speed around the back end. Oh, just hit uh, the Dragon goalie on the foot. Perillo lucky on that one. Hit him in the heel. Going for that... Uh, Far lower 90 on the left side and knocked away. Parker with the ball for Lake Orion, wearing the number one jersey. Loses possession, gets it back again. Gives it up. Dragons trying to cycle around. What we're seeing is nice pressure on the ball by Hazlitt. They're really putting their uh, defenders out there on an island, trusting their uh, ability. And so far, the Dragons have not made a decision. Here we go, inside. Shot attempt. Oh, another save. 77, the netminder for Hazlitt is having a game. He just seems to have his, uh, to be blocking the uh, near side, or short side post every time. I think uh, Lake Orion's calling a timeout here to talk about it, trying to get this offensive set. We're going to step away, be back after this short break. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Stay tuned. And welcome back. Still in the second quarter here. Hazlitt up 4-2 on your hometown Dragons with 6.28 to go after that timeout. Dragons called timeout to uh, talk it over. Their offense just kind of stalls out. It's uh, a lot of one-on-one -on -one action out there. We see Hazlitt kind of sharing the ball, really moving that ball around, cycling around, taking their time, just getting the play set up. Dragons are kind of settling for the one-on-one -on -one attack and just uh, just trying to find some spark on offense. Yes, it's only 4-2, to two, but Hazlitt has definitely held uh, the time of possession advantage throughout this game. There's another empty trip for Lake Orion on the offensive set. Ball is on the turf. Dragons have it up. Meach is on the move. Nicely done by number 20. Parker with it. Parker has two goals on the night for the Dragons. He cuts inside. He's going to go coast to coast. He found an angle, but nice stop by Hazlitt. And hit, hit the net minder right in the upper right hand or left shoulder. That's got to hurt. Hazlitt moving before that defense is set. Looks like another timeout. A little Hazlitt timeout. We'll be back after the short timeout. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Hazlitt leads 4 to 2. We'll be right back. All right, out of the timeout, 5.37 left in the first half of play. 
Dragons still trying to sort out their offensive woes in this contest. Hazlitt, uh, time of possession is off the charts. I'm um, looking at faceoffs one. Um, I believe I am as five to three. And uh, at least three of those faceoffs uh, that Hazlitt has won led directly to goals. Quick, uh, quick action by the Vikings offense after those uh, wins there on the faceoff, and uh, they tally them. So it's four to two here. Dragons looking to claw back. Defense is now trying to stop this Viking offense. Swinging it around. There's another one from long range. Thirteen scores it up. That is five to two. Here's a replay. Way outside, and yes, the Dragon netminders a little bit left and. Went uh, far post. That's 13. 504 the second. Back to a three goal lead here for Hazlitt. Here on the faceoff, Dragons looking to win one. And it looks like Hazlitt takes another faceoff. Six on the ninth. Dragons dislodge it though. Nice play by Brandon Brown. Timeout called here by the Dragons. We'll step away once again. You're watching on TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. All right, Dragons get possession. They're gonna talk about it, see what's going on. How can they get this offensive uh, firepower that we've seen over the last uh, several years, get that up to uh, up to full speed here in this contest? 4.49 left in the half. Vikings from Hazlitt up 5-2 to two and pretty much have uh, looked to be the better team throughout this contest. Haynes with the ball, number 21, rolling in again. Cutting inside, nicely done, and oh, just off the post. Nice shot there. Oh, nice steal by 22, and they're going to allow it. That is Gannon, and they score! What a heads-up play. Nicely done by number 21, Haynes. But that play was set up nicely by digging by that ball. Yes, you see the Sam circle in the Eve. crease. Assisted by number 22, Luke Gannon, his second of the game. Gaines, uh, Gannon's uh, assist, what are we at, 424 of the second. But that was set up. You see the circle around the goal. That is a crease, right? You can't be inside of it physically. But as the Hazlitt netminder stopped that initial shot, I believe it was by Haynes, and it was just sitting there, and then it was dug out by Gannon as it just sat there. He dug it right out of the uh, netminder's hands and got it, uh, got it into uh, Haynes' uh, possession, and he scores quickly. So that was a heady play by the Dragons there to not give up. You say, hey, just because we missed the shot, that doesn't mean the play is over. The play is never over. As we see the Dragons uh, making some substitutions as Meech, uh, I think they're looking for a ball. <laughs> I think they ran, they ran out of balls. There's Meech right there, number 20. He's had a nice game, called his number a number of times. Dragons looking to uh, do something here on offense. Meech up that left side. What can they do? Oh, just unforced error. Who's number four? That is Papadelis. He was uh, kind of flat-footed on that play. Got to keep moving. Scooped up by Hazlitt. Nicely done. And guess who it is? Middleton. Three goals tonight for the number 16. 340 left in the first half of play. Two-goal lead by the Vikings. Big running start. Nice defensive check, rolling around the edge. He's going to go shoot long distance. He walks right in. My goodness. Yeah, 
Middleton. He thought about it. <laughs> well, we saw a couple goals by Hazlitt done uh, at distance, right? Get lost in traffic and find its way home. They were uh, they started shooting low um, on Perillo, finding the back of the net, and then uh, they started going high, but they're shooting at distance. Just changing the, the look of the shots. Another one, and he scores. Number 13, second of the night. Way, heck of a cannon on that shot. Nicely done by Hazlitt. 2.53 left. Hazlitt goal, his third of the game, number 13. Max Flesher. Max Flesher. Assist number 32. Said his his and third of the pass. game, so instead of 30, I think uh, Flesher had the first goal of the game at 8.32 of the first. Just by notes here. Hazlitt again on the faceoffs one. Getting set up on offense. Charging hard uh, on the back check. Papadellis has it. Making changes on the fly, getting their personnel situated. Approaching 2.20 left here in the first half of play. Cycling around. Middleton. Oh, loses a handle on that one. Dragon should get it. It's going to be close. Yeah, Milton, he just lost it. Um, couldn't close out on the shot, and it just sailed on him. But he had an avenue. So Middleton and Flesher for uh, Hazlitt have done all the damage today. Three goals apiece. They lead 6-3 to three here in the second. Dragon scoring has been shared by Parker and Haynes. Dragon Netminder sends that one coast to coast. Picked up by the green and white. Trying to save possession on that one, and they, they do not. Heads up play by the Netminder. He is out of the net, just running around wild. That's one thing you don't see in hockey. <laughs> We've seen plays where the lacrosse Netminder is running up to midfield to set up the offensive attack and gives you kind of an extra person, you know, extra man. Hazlitt again, patience, setting up, spreading out that Dragon defense, and finding those alleys at distance to shoot. Inside one minute. Hazlitt's content to take their time, just work this clock. Solid lead here, going into halftime. They'd love to add one more. Dragons like to turn them away. Good defense there by number 40. That's Brown again. Mentioned a 58, that is uh, Giacalone. Hazlitt picks it up again. Nice save there by the Dragons. Out of play should be Hazlitt. Ball is number 12 for the green and white. Owen Boyd takes a tumble. 30 seconds left in this half. Middleton with the ball. I have a feeling he's going to try to roll this one around. Nope, gives it up. Out front, wide open. Nice hack on defense. Off the post. My word. Dragons were lucky to... Really lucky on that one. Goes coast to coast and intercepted by uh, Hazlitt. Just whacking it out of the air. Six seconds to go. And that should do it for the half. And that's the horn. It's halftime here at Dragon Stadium. The Vikings from Hazlitt in town leading your hometown Dragons 6-3. We'll be back with the second half right after this. You're watching ON TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Stay tuned. ON TV encourages you to go back to school and attend our 10-week video production workshop. Classes meet on Monday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and offer instruction on studio production, field production, and nonlinear editing. The cost is $55 per person, and upon completion of the class, you get access to ONTV's facilities and equipment to produce your own program or short film. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 
or visit orionontv.org today. All right, about to get underway here in the second half. Here at Dragon Stadium. When TV's first uh, recorded game of the uh, 2022 spring season is exciting to be out here. Uh, the weather kind of cleared up for us. It was uh, touch and go there for a little bit with the uh, rain and wind. It was unbelievable. Went away just as we were starting this contest and the sun uh, came through the clouds just uh, momentarily just to remind us that yes, the sun is still there. It's not gray all the time here in Michigan in the springtime. But I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, here bringing you this lacrosse matchup as the Dragons are trying to fight back against the visiting uh, Vikings from Hazlitt and get a shot right out of the gate, but easily stopped by the Hazlitt netminder. Uh, I don't have a roster in front of me for Hazlitt, so we'll do the best we can, but we do know that uh, Middleton and Flesher have three goals apiece for the Vikings. And a scoring summary is Parker, number one, Parker uh, has two goals, one at 8.07 and 8.44, the 8.07 of the first, 8.48 of the second period, and Haynes at 4.24 of the second period. Oh, nice defensive play there by Meech, just chopping that out of the air and just stopping it. A little more aggressive play than we've seen from the Dragons in the first half, Parker with the ball near side. Dragons look to set up here this offense and even move that ball. They find success when they're moving that ball around. Crisp passes, unforced errors. They're really spreading it out. They were trying to go with that one-on-one. -on -one. There's Haynes going low and a nice save. Oh, save by Hazlitt. Dragons get possession back. Number 18, nice scoop up there by Kyler Carson. Dragons cycle it again. Tyler Baker with the ball. Near side three. Oh, good defensive stop by Hazlitt. And the netminder comes out for Hazlitt to scoop that up. And Dragons will retain possession. Again, we see this offensive set a little bit wider, a little bit more spread out than we saw in the first half. Definitely an adjustment. I'm at halftime going... Distant shot going low is number, I th think that was uh, Baker. Nice hack there by the Dragons to dislodge that ball and should get possession just running by it. Got a whistle going here. Clock has stopped at 9.56. Yeah, it's hard to tell, uh, haven't heard the call, what the foul was. Either way, Hazlitt has the ball and they're setting up in their offensive zone. No announcement from the PA of why the stoppage was, so here we go. We are underway again. Clock is rolling. Hazel again, very patient. I don't see Flesher or Middleton out there for uh, Hazlitt. Another long shot deflected out. Should be Hazlitt ball. There's Flesher number 13 behind the net. Kind of directing traffic back there. Dishes it up out front and they reset the offense. Dragon's defense is compacted into the defensive zone there. Shot score, he was there. Oh, tough score. Near side pass, look at that. Pass over to 24, I think that is. 25 and he goes upper 90 right. As the goal scored by number 25, William Richardson, assisted by number 14, Dylan Sims. Richardson on the goal at 9.23 of the third. See, that goal is, you can see the frustration growing on the Dragon Netminder, uh, Noah Aprilo. He was in position. We're talking just a little bit off. He needs to hug that post. 
Uh, guard that upper 90, just left a little opening, and then that ball found its way in. It's 7-3 to three here. Again, Dragons lose possessions at Parker. Parker trying to make something happen and just loses possession, just looking for that point-blank shot. Sometimes like we're following the Hazlitt lead of uh, shooting at distance, getting a quality shot, finding those lanes. Dragons on the attack. Haynes, number 21. Just it out front again over, cycling it around. Parker, nice move. He goes down low and it's in. Didn't try to get too close, but he got it. Nice passing here by uh, the by the Dragons. And, oh, boy, that just far side uh, lower 90 just had an inch opening, and Parker finds it. 837 of the third. Parker uh, chips into that lead, seven to four. 8.37 to go in this third period. See if the Dragons can win some of these face-offs. Ball is still loose, and they do. Can they do anything with it? Dragons a little more aggressive on the face-offs. Face Parker dishes it behind. He's trying to set up that offense. Baker with the ball. Running out front, number three. This is to Kyler Carson. Over to Haynes. Cutting inside. Looked like he was going to go right handed shot on that one. Wisely cycles it back out again. Dragon's looking to go one on one. He hits inside. He decletes his opponent, shoots, and just misses. They're going to wave that one off. And no shot there. That looked like a good move inside. But a foul on the Dragons will give the ball back to Hazlitt, nullifying that offensive rush. I want to thank you for tuning into this telecast. We have a whole slate of games coming your way this spring sports season as the Dragons get a turnover, and he's in a lone score! What a turnover by Lake Orion there. Nice hack on the defensive side. He picks it up himself, runs it in. That's 14. That is Brady Drury. Brady Drury. What a turn of events. Nicely done by the attacker. Dragons needed that spark. Nicely done by Drury. What was I saying? <laughs> Something happened while I was yapping. Yes, ON TV's uh, slate of games coming your way. Soccer, lacrosse, uh, softball, and track and field. And uh, you can watch those on Comcast Channel 22 and on our public access channel, Comcast Channel 10. Or you can watch them on video on demand at our website at orionontv.org. Just click on the on-demand viewing all of our games are posted there. You can even watch us on Roku. Uh, just download the Cablecast channel. Look for ONTV. We're on Roku, uh, Fire TV, and Apple TV as well. Hazlitt cuts in, and oh, quick goal. Dragons looking for some defense here, and they're not finding it. Wide open five hole. Scored by number zero, Nate Olsen. Nate Olson. Nate Olson again extends that lead back to three. Dragons need to get some uh, defensive sets here where they can shut out this Hazlitt offense, but Hazlitt just kind of walking in there, finding the back of the net. Who's going to win this one? Dragons have it. Parker with it. Faints to pass, still has it, wants to reset. Oh, lost it on the turf. Chased down by A.J. Lights, trying to find that ball. What are they going to say? Dragon ball. Haynes has it. He brings back into play. Comes near side with number three as Baker. Baker does not take the shot. Resets. Chilly night out here. It's rainy. 
earlier in the day, so humidity is up. The wind was up. You can see some puddles on the track in the back. Just an all-around wet, soggy day. Parker trying to do something all by himself. Goes low and just misses that far corner. My word, what an effort. But again, they're looking for that spectacular play to get that goal as opposed to, you know, let the offensive run. Approaching six minutes left here in the third. Dragons trying to chip into this uh, three-goal lead by Hazlitt. Their, def their offense has been on fire tonight, that is for sure. Nice scoop up by Kyler Carson. Midfielder dishes it on the other side of the field for Parker. Good person to get it to. Baker has it, sporting the number three jersey. Cutting inside. Again, one on one. Now he's going to be double teamed. Just, you, have to, uh, you have to pass that ball. Parker with a scoop. What can he do outside? Can we get a shot off? Yes, and deflected. Nicely done by the defense. Viking defense standing tall. That just hit the, uh, just deflected off of the uh, defender's stick. Dragons again setting up that offense. Haynes with the ball, number 21. I think this is their top line with Haynes, Baker, Parker. Comes out front, that's four, and just sails it wide. That's Papadelis. Dragons getting some shots on goal, but I should say getting shots, but they need to be on goal. They need to be on frame. 5.01 left here in the third. Hazlitt with the ball. Rolling through that defense. It's Olsen, number zero. Olsen's had a nice game. He's been a disruptor. He's been out there. Hazlitt trying to set up that offense. Again, look how far out they are setting that offense up and just... Taking their time, they're not rushing anything. Again, you can do that with a three goal lead here. Nice roll to the hole, that is Olsen, gives it back out front and just skips over the crossbar. Looked like, uh, looked like he slipped. The attacker slipped on the turf. Ball is free, nicely done by Meech. Meech has had a nice game on the defensive side of the ball. Dragons on the move. Who's at 25 for the Dragons? Joseph Dijani. Who's at 35? Jackson uh, Vasquez. Baker with the ball coming near side. Parker just gets it. Parker wisely settles it down, gets it to Haynes out front and with the 21 jersey, just trying to get that offensive set. Baker again, number four, excuse me, Papadelis, number four with, with the ball. Top of your screen, rolling up there in the far, far side. When we go behind the net, he's going to cut inside. What will he do? Goes behind the net. Looking for someone open to pass it to. Parker to Haynes, Haynes cutting inside. Haynes nowhere to go, trying to cycle back around. Parker's out front to reset that offense. Approaching three minutes left here in the third, has let up three goals, eight to five. Parker cycling in, long shot and out of play, Dragon ball. Dragons take a page out of Hazlitt's uh, playbook there trying to score at distance through traffic uh, they just got to get on frame Hazlitt most of their shots have been at the netminder you know on that frame on that goal not really shooting wide oh tough shot oh nicely done nice pass 22 who is that that is uh, Luke Gannon received that pass he just couldn't finish 
Hazlitt's goalkeeper has had a game. He's been the difference in this matchup. Dragons have had their chances, but he stood tall, uh, you know, walking down those short side uh, gaps and uh, doing what he needs to do to keep uh, scoring at bay on the road in hostile territory here at Lake Orion High School. Player change here for Hazlitt. Olsen calling the play there. Number zero has it. Going to sling it around the back. Middleton with the ball behind the net. Slings it around. One forty-five left here in the third. Ooh, tough pass. They're just closing that... Uh, Offensive zone down, squeezing it tighter and tighter. Middleton with the ball out front. Nice pass, skipping across the ground. We saw that earlier. That, that same play, we saw that set up earlier in the first half when Middleton got his uh, second and third goals. Going low. Oh, tough shot on that. Nicely done. Good standing tall uh, uh, in the net by the Dragons. Nicely done. Approaching one minute left in the third. Boy, time is ticking off quickly here in this match. One minute left in the third quarter. Middleton just being patient. Three goal lead. If, try to tack one on here at the end of the third. Patience, patience. Middleton speed cutting inside again. Distance scores, my goodness. 44 seconds to go. Has a goal, his fourth of the game, scored by number 16, Tyler Littleton. What a goal by number 16, that was, that was a beaut. That was one, um, yeah, he's just finding the openings. It's, he's changing his attack angle when he's uh, shooting that ball and uh, he's cutting in, but he's favoring that left side. When he cuts in on that left side, he's just finding that opening and getting the uh, Dragon goalie moving side to side and fainted to the right and shot left, and it found its way home. So now 9-5 to five lead here, four-goal lead for the Vikings of Hazlitt. In mid-season form here uh, in this uh, early... Uh, spring game here of 2020. I want to encourage all of our viewers to come out to the games here at Dragon High School, or Dragon High School, Lake Orion High School to cheer on your uh, favorite Dragon athletes. Uh, it's great to get out, uh, get out and about, even if it's a little chilly and a little damp. Cheer on these student athletes and uh, stop by the concession stand, maybe grab a dog or uh, your favorite beverage and uh, just... Uh, Enjoy the uh, possibility for us to watch these sports. Looks like a timeout called. We'll step away back after this short break. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Stay tuned. All right, 39 seconds left here in the third. Dragons chatting about it. 39 seconds, nine to five lead here by Hazlitt. Nice crowd on hand for this uh, game, this little soggy day. And multiple games going on. Girls lacrosse is taking place uh, just at the adjacent field, the soccer field, to uh, this uh, field, the football field here. Hazlitt looking to tally another one before the end of this period. Short, and they get it. Oh my word, Olson! Olson tallies one, just what they did. The Dragons did not need, and he went up and over. What a heady play by Olson! Tallies his second of the game. Twenty-three seconds to go in the third. The number zero, Nate Olson, assisted by number twenty-five, William Richardson. Coming out of a timeout as well. 
very opportunistic opportunistic scoring here for the Vikings. 10 to five lead as there's just 23 seconds left in this period. Dragons fourth period is gonna have to be something special as Hazlitt wins another faceoff. Offense is uh, coach is kind of calling them off, slowing them down, just saying, hey, just ride this one out. Five seconds to go. What a third period for Hazlitt. Four goals in that stanza. Nicely done by the Vikings. At the end of three quarters, Vikings 10, Dragons 5. 10 to 5 as we approach the uh, fourth quarter. We'll step away again back after this short timeout. Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports continues after this. All right, Dragons coaches uh, talking to the guys over there saying, what do we need to do to stop this uh, offensive uh, onslaught, I guess? What would we say? When was that last goal? Dragons had two goals in the third. He thought they were getting some momentum. And then it was just three unanswered by Hazlitt to close out that uh, quarter. It's just, it's tough because 44 seconds and 23 seconds left in the period, they give up two goals in, uh, what is that, 21 seconds? That's a, that's a tough one. Dragons, though, you have, to, you have to brush it off. And he can play solid defense here. Hazlitt should have the ball here at the start of the fourth. That's why they didn't want to shoot it. They just held on to it. So... Milton with the ball, number 16. That Hazlitt offense again goes to work. Final period of play here at Dragon Stadium. Dragons trying to find some sort of offense. Oh, quick score. It's at 14. Floodgates have opened here for Hazlitt. Low screamer, boy, what a number shot. Goal scored by number 14, Dylan Sims. Assist to number 16, Tyler Middleton. Dylan Sims on the tally there at 11.42. So that's, uh, what is that? 18 seconds into the fourth quarter. So you got 44 seconds left in the third, 20. Uh, one seconds later and then another 18 seconds that is quick scoring and a wise decision by the coach to call off the offense just before the end of the quarter or the end of, end of the third quarter to say hey we're going to have possession of this ball and we're going to take advantage of it again another face off one by Haslam nine on the night Dragons looking at four timeout call by LO we'll be back after this All right, Dragons chatting it up, trying to figure this one out. Six goal lead here by the Vikings in an offensive explosion here at the end of the third and beginning of the fourth. And uh, Hazlitt with possession. Let's see how aggressive on uh, defense the Dragons will be. I mean, it's already a six goal lead. Can they chip away at this lead? We, uh, the offense for Hazlitt all night long has been um, crisp and clean. Uh, we have to give them credit. Dragon defense is, is still trying to find themselves, I think, and uh, they have the same rotation. Nothing's really changed. Looking at the numbers. But it's just a matter of uh, another one. Floodgates open, like we said. 32 for Hazlitt, scores another. Just getting out of hand here for the green and white. Yeah, you can see the netminder. AJ Leitz uh, replaced uh, Perillo um, for the second half, and he didn't see that one. He knew it was coming, but he didn't know where it was. Uh, but then again, here we go. 10.58. Hazlitt on a roll now. 12 to 5. 
Five unanswered goals for the Vikings. At this stage of the game, it's about improving play to play. And how can you uh, how can you be better? Again, another faceoff one. That's ten on the night. Quick change made by Hazlitt. Dragons pick it up. Seems like Hazlitt has been on offense for a long time. Again, that goes back to those faceoffs one. If they score and they're so good at the faceoff, they get possession back immediately. And you can see they're patient on offense, so they just work that clock, milk the clock, run their offense. They're going to run at their own pace. Sims, number 14 for Hazlitt, had it, loses it. Dragons on the move. Nice run out by Owen Boyd, number 12, the defenseman, to get that offensive rush going. Dragons trying to set up here in the offensive zone. Looks like number 16, Rafini. Do I need glasses? I think that's 16 over there. Could be 18, Kyler Carson. I believe it's Carson with the ball. Tightly guarded. Again, Dragons trying to cycle that offense around. 35 with it. Vasquez gives it up to 21. Haynes. Haynes has it. Makes an inside move. He's got a lane. Shoots. Follow-up shot goes. Nicely done. Way to stick with it. That's Haynes. Look at this. Inside move. Goes to the left hand. Shoots. It is saved. It comes right back to him, and he shovels it in. Nicely done. Great goal by the Dragons. They needed that. Stop the bleeding. 9.25 of the fourth. Hazlitt again on another faceoff win. Six goal lead here by Hazlitt. 9.14 to go. Hazlitt. I like the way Hazlitt is uh, taking advantage of what is given them. They're not forcing anything. They're cycling the ball around. They're taking their time. They're let their offense uh, do what it does. You know, no unforced errors. Uh, near, <laughs> just as I say that, uh, Fleischer just runs that one down. Um, but again, they're just spreading the field out, working that clock. Nice six goal lead. If they can cut inside, just like that. Open lane and good defense, number 30. Dominic Novak nicely done to dislodge that ball. And Haynes is getting brutalized and run and cross-checked into the ground. No flag on the play. Play continues, but what an aggressive play. And then he comes back to retaliate. Haynes does. Haynes was driven into the ground. Play has play, the ball was nowhere near the play, and now they throw the flag. 32 just scored a goal, and he had a lot of pep in his step and decides to run Haynes into the ground. But usually, they get the person who retaliates. There's 32 in the penalty box, and they're telling Haynes to get out too. He came back with a slash around the back on 32 as retaliation. So they're going to – referee always sees the, re, the person who's retaliating. So there you go. At least – Hazlitt, one-minute penalty for slashing. After the play, 30-minute, 30-second 30 misconduct penalty on Lake Orion. Okay, so 30-second misconduct on Haynes. And then a minute slashing – on Hazlitt's number 32. But yeah, that was a... Uh, that can get out of hand pretty quickly. Hazlitt with the ball, 8-10 to go. No 
New goalie in for Lake Orion. That's Brady Garriston, number nine. Third goalie of the night for Lake Orion. Just trying to find some sort of uh, Hack on D, play continues. Olsen. All right, uh, looks like Lake Orange calling timeout. We'll be back after this short break. Watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. All right, coming back here in the fourth quarter, Dragons trailing by six, 747 left in the fourth. Getting a little chippy out here. Uh, had some slashing calls and misconduct calls and it's lacrosse, right? <laughs> Nothing different than any other lacrosse match. <laughs> Dragons set up an offense. Seems like it's been ages since they had an offensive set. They do have one goal tallied here in this fourth quarter. Long shot and saved again. Nicely done by the netminder from uh, Hazlitt. The Vikings have a solid goalkeeper. He's really seeing the ball tonight. That is for sure. Hazlitt on the move. Approaching seven, minute le seven minutes left here in the final period. And again, patience on offense. Say it again and again. Dragons are going to have to look to regroup here after this, uh, this match, trying to find some offense, but it's the defense. I think they have the offense. I, I'm not worried about their offensive output. It's the defense and being able to you know, just prevent those goals from going in. It's uh, try to get traffic in front of the net, but it's uh, got to find, uh, settle on your net minder. Maybe it's just an off night. It could be. Could be a, a home game jitters. Who knows? Parker with the ball, cycles around. Looks like he lost the handle. Hazlitt has it. Didn't see a lot of unforced errors on the side of Lake Orion. Just better overall execution, I think, by the Vikings. Vikings cycling it around. Seeing some new jersey numbers out there for the Vikings as this... Uh, this match is uh, approaching five minutes left and a nice lead. So uh, Hazlitt getting some uh, different guys in there, rotating them in and looking to attack still. Oh, nice, nice attempt there to uh, get the streaker in the middle, but just uh, out of reach. Dragons with the ball. Need a sense of urgency if they're going to try to do anything here. Haynes with the ball, cuts inside, outside. He favors that left-hand shot. Oh, nice pass. Can't get it in. Boy, if, uh, in hockey, that's just a touch pass. But across, you can't really bat it out of the sky or bat it out of the air to get it in there. But that was a nice pass. Um, just unable to uh, catch and shoot on that one. Looking for the back door, and it was uh, it was open. If you're looking for other uh, Dragon sporting events throughout this school year, we have everything we've done from the fall of 2021 to now uh, on our website at orionontv.org. We have video on demand of all of our games. We even upload some of the games to our YouTube channel. Just search uh, Orion on TV. 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates of when uh, new games are uploaded. Over 3,000 videos on our YouTube channel and close to 3,000 subscribers. Oh, a scoop and score there by uh, who else? Middleton gets his fifth goal of the game. Goals, the game. Number 16, Tyler Middleton. 344. He's a good one, number 16, one to watch out for. He can put it in the back of the net in a hurry. And uh, he, re he really opened up this game and really kind of pushed that lead up early in the first period. Approaching uh, three and a half minutes left in this contest. Uh, Hazlitt with a nice lead of 13 to six over the Dragons. Um, Dragons are on their third goalie of the night. Uh, who is the other goaltender? I think it's Brady Garriston. Number nine is in for Lake Orion. Really quieted down this hometown crowd with the offensive output here by Hazlitt. Coming the near side here as we approach just inside three minutes. Great facilities here at Lake Orion High School. Cutting inside, tr still trying to not force it anything. But uh, decent defense there by Lake Orion to slow that one down. Yeah, after the new the replacement of the football field uh, not too long ago, I think it was in the summer of 2019 or 2018. How time flies, it's unbelievable. And the markings for lacrosse on the field, nice and crisp. You can see them. It's really, really nice. And uh, the replacement of the soccer field, too, just adjacent to this field, uh, worked out well. So you can have uh, two uh, lacrosse matches running simultaneously. The girls are currently playing up on the soccer field just uh, next to this field here. So more efficient play here, great quality facilities. And the track itself is in wonderful condition. And we hope to bring you, uh, ONT's hope, hopes to bring you uh, track and field uh, a couple meets here this season. One that we're really excited about is the middle school city meet between the three middle schools. Um, Walden Middle School, Oakview, and Scripps. I believe it's the first time that the middle school uh, city meet has been televised. So we'll be here with our cameras to record that matchup. Um, ONTV and our staff and volu school volunteers from the, the high school uh, Dragon uh, Broadcasting Program have been working for years on track meets. This year, uh, we won't be covering the MHSAA regional meet here at Lake Orion. It's moved up to Lapeer. So we added the middle school city meet. So we're excited to uh, get, shine light on the future stars, the future track stars of Lake Orion. Hazlitt just content to work that Work it around, no stall calls, just playing. Getting some people, uh, some uh, fresh faces, some playing time out there. Inside one and a half minutes left in this contest, and an errant pass goes out of play. And they're going to say it is. It is Hazlitt ball as Olsen chasing that one down. Two goals by number zero tonight. Clock is rolling as we close in. On a victory here, a big road victory for the Hazlitt Vikings here at Lake Orion High School. Don't see the uh, the Dragons lose too many um, here at home. But one they'll have to reflect on and look back on, see how they can improve on. We saw some bright spots. They did make some adjustments and got some, some uh, goals here in the second half. Haynes and Parker are the main uh, offensive uh, uh, powers here for the green and white, but we're going to have to find 
you know, other uh, other guys going to need to step up. Try to put that, uh, what do they say, the biscuit in the basket or the ball in the net. But Hazlitt, ha Hazlitt has carried the day for sure. They are the, uh, the better team this evening. Nice save. Oh, and a rebound and a score with 26 seconds to go. And that's Olsen gets his third of the night. That's unfortunate. It made the initial save. That's Brady uh, Garriston. Did a nice job stopping that initial shot, but the rebound uh, comes back to bite him. 26 seconds to go, 14 to 6. Commanding lead here by Hazlitt. I want to thank all of you for tuning in to this uh, telecast. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. We have more coming your way. And you can watch our, the games at our website on video on demand at orionontv.org, or you can uh, check us on Comcast Channel 10. That's our public access uh, channel on Game of the Week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. And uh, you can also see us uh, video on demand on our website, like I mentioned, orionontv.org. And on Roku, just add the Cablecast app to your channel lineup, and you can watch ONTV and a whole host of other public access channels throughout the country. We're also on Amazon Fire TV and Apple TV. Just add that Cablecast channel. Four seconds, three seconds. What a game by uh, by Hazlitt. I have to say, uh, Middleton was the star of the show. He was an offensive stud tonight. Got it done. Big road win. And the netminder, number 77, I believe is his number. What a game for the netminder for Hazlitt. He had a game and really shut down this Dragon offense. Dragons will regroup as we will also as we bring you more games uh, this spring season. Hope you enjoy this one. Hazlitt takes the win, 14 to six over Lake Orion on their home turf. That's it, we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.